Little's got five fouls. Smith slipped. He found Luca. Luca, late block. He wants it. Step back, and that's why, baby. No matter do it. Back to Doncic. Doncic pulls up. Three pointer. Bang! Bang! It's good. Doncic wins the game at the buzzer. <laughs> Two best on the floor against each other on the fall away. The rainbow lands for Luka Doncic. It's to go. Doncic down to three seconds. Two seconds. Doncic for the win. Oh yeah! Luka Doncic! The dagger! To add another award to the trophy case as Luka dancing around Autopio. Wow! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video, man. I'm actually super excited for this video. 2K21 current gen, and I'm actually excited. Yes, it is not because of the game. It's about the build and the player, man. This guy is one of my favorite players in the NBA today. Like, three, four, five times a game watching him play, I'm literally sitting on my couch, and I'm just like, that is too good. That is ridiculous what he just did. Let, like, let's not take it for granted how good this kid is, man. 22 years old, whether he's playing for Dallas or the Slovenian national team, the dude is unbelievable, man. And he's only going to get better as time goes on. Of course, y'all seen the title. We're talking about Luka Doncic. And like I said, he's one of my favorite players in the NBA today. I mean, when LeBron retires, this guy might step in and be my favorite player in the league. Let me know what y'all think about Luka down in the comments, because he's almost to the point now that he's so good, he has, like, a group of people that hate on him for no reason. Like, it's, it's like the Skip Bayless Mafia. Like, once LeBron retires, Luka's stepping into, to like, Skip's radar, and that's going to be his main guy that he hates on. You, you already see it, bro. You already see the stuff he's saying about Luka. So it's generating this, like, cult of people that hate on Luka for no reason. But like I said, I love me some Luka, and I'm super excited for this video now. Shout out to my boy Papa Snagger. I'm going to leave the link to his YouTube channel in the description, because check this out. I I had no more space. I have 10 builds maxed out. I had no more space to make a Luka build and he volunteered his legend account to make the build with me. We talked about what we want to do on the attributes and stuff and then him and his boys grinded it out for me, man. So huge shout out to them. Make sure y'all go show some love over on his channel and let's get into this build, man. All right, Luka Doncic, six foot seven. Yes, we went with the actual height of Luka. We made this build specifically to be Luka, all right? So decent layup. A decent dunk, you know, nothing crazy because Luca, you know, he's not out there. You know, listen, it's not Vince Carter, it's Luca Doncic. All right, so 67 driving dunk. We got a 92 mid range, 89 three pointer, and an 89 post fade. All right, now I'm gonna be honest. Right now, Luca's percentage from three is not super good, so 89 is probably a little bit too high. But on this game, it's really hard to shoot the the step back and spinning and half spin, you know, shots that Luca shoots. Those creative shots. Well. We have a high enough three ball that we can kind of make it happen. Now, we went with the shot creating takeover. It's probably the worst takeover in this game. I'll be honest with you. Sharp take is way better. But we wanted to be true to Luka, and I didn't think Sharp was accurate. So we went with the shot creator takeover. We got good post moves, great pass accuracy, great ball handling. We know Luka is an elite playmaker. So, you know, all those are up. Then we have the rebounding maxed out as high as they possibly can because, you know, Luka's always on that triple double watch. And then it's 2K. So we got perimeter lateral and steal, obviously. Obviously, we're a perimeter player. We need all three of those, all right? Now, as much as we try to stay true to Luka, we need the build to actually be effective. So the strength should be higher and the speed should be lower. But of course, it's current gen. Speed is everything. Strength isn't that important on a guard. So we went a little lower on the strength than what it would be true for Luka because Luka is a very strong player, all right? But 11, 31, 34, 17, unbelievable badge spread. We get Hall of Fame shooting, Hall of Fame playmaking. Now, I want to tell you, I tried to play different on this build, all right? I tried to actually stay true to Luka and not just be out here just speed glitching behind screens, quick stopping and shooting threes. Like, any play shot could do that. I wanted to stay true to 6'7", Luka Doncic, all right? So we tried to shoot creative shots. You know, Luka's game is not really predicated on speed. It's more on skill, creativity, you know, outsmarting your opponent. So I tried to stay true to that, man. So drop a like on the video and let's get right into some gameplay. So, of course, at the end of the day, some stuff is just going to look the same because it is 2K, but I tried to be unique on this build i tried to bully smaller guards in the paint like luca would i tried to play in the post a little bit i got playground layups on i did not mean to put those on but it added a little flair to the video all right but look at spin move little left hand floater off the glass shooting those creative shots that luca hits you know 
uh, we go to the off dribble pull up here. And then of course we got the signature, you know, just tough shots that Luca hits, you know, has he run this way, spin shot, pull up green in the mid range, little, you know, side contest by our opponent. Doesn't matter. We got our takeover now. And this is when we really start to have fun. Little step back signature, Luka Doncic step back to the left hand side. Now check this out, bro. We got our shot taken. Like I said, it's probably the worst takeover in the game overall, but you can shoot some crazy stuff. Little half spin fade away green over our opponent. It says wide open, but I don't know. He was right there in our airspace and we're not done there the very next possession crossover step back pull up over this dude look at what we're doing with the step back Luka Doncic signature you know signature moves we got 720 spin layup I don't even know why those are on bro I, I forgot to take them off but it is what it is next game a little more competition this game all right so you saw the first game we're just having fun with it but as I said I'm staying true to Luka I got a little play shot on me or a little offensive threat I think he was offensive threat my bad and uh yeah we bullied him in the paint so that draws the help Jay's wide open that's a lockdown shooting from the hash by the way but you know Jay's built different now of course this build is more than capable of playing like you know typical sweaty player little curry side pull up wide open bang so you know we're 10-0 against these elite ones now they start bringing the double team i don't know why Jay didn't shoot he threw it back to me but again he sees i'm a bully the small guard he double teams me in the paint Jay's wide open knocks it down and now here's another play i would never really do this on like a typical build but it's lucas so i'm like yo i got a low guard on me look i'm gonna do a little euro step into him just go up over him and finish people don't realize how strong luca is like i know he doesn't you know he doesn't look buff like a lot of nba players when you watch him play it's crazy not only how skilled he is but also how strong he is but check this out we got shot take we're up 20 to 0 step back and our shot take runs out literally as we're releasing the ball but what surprised me about this build is how good defensively it is check this out they get the rebound. The big man gets the rebound. We get the stop from behind on the big man. Then we drive in. We get a little, you know, easy little Luka Doncic dunk. But we beat them 22 to 0. We literally only missed one. The only shot we missed was my step back when I ran out of takeover. On to game number three. We got this game and one more. So we go into the post, step it back, draw the help. Dot J in the corner. He knocks it down. Now, as I said, trying to stay true to Luka. All right. Spin move, snatch back, double crossover behind the back, floater beautiful teardrop get that to go spin move snatch back cook the center to the point that he just flops he knew he just got killed off that now double cross between the legs curry slide dry baseline go up with a little reverse finish off the glass nine to two now sun is setting jay catches it could take the dunk but we take threes over twos he runs out shoots the corner three 12 to two i'm gonna spin it back crossover curry slide big hop get the crab on him looks like we're playing pro i'm out here knock that one down 15 to 2 we got our takeover now get the steal grab the loose ball run out signature lucas step back knock it down with the shot creating takeover just a beautiful beautiful shot man jay gets the 360 dunk and check out how we wrap this up out of the triple threat spin move spin move back the other way nice little layup to finish it off and we win that one this is game number four i'm not gonna edit this at all we literally finished this game in like two minutes like we just go crazy on these dudes all right and i just want to talk about luca for a second you guys can comment down below what you think about luca and his game and what stands out to you but as i was saying before what stands out to me is like all right well there's a lot of things that stand out but i want to touch on not only how skillful he is but how strong he is now we all know playoff basketball is different than regular season basketball right like any any of you guys that watch my videos that really like the nba you guys know the playoffs get a little more physical, a little uglier, if you want to call it, a little dirtier, whatever you want to call it. You guys know what I'm talking about. We've only seen this man in two playoff series. Now, to be fair, his team lost, but it is a team game, and, and he was unbelievable in these series. But both series were against the Los Angeles Clippers, who have some of the best individual defenders in the NBA today. Kawhi Leonard, Paul George. Then you have other guys like, you know, Pat Bev. Pat Bev was just too small for Luka, so they, they stopped that. But then, you know, you also have like Marcus Morris, who's a, a tough physical defender. Nicholas Batum. My point is, we saw Luka go against these guys, and they literally had no answer for Luka. Like, Luka was out there bullying guys. Like, he was out there bullying Marcus Morris, Paul George. Kawhi Leonard like he was too strong for them and on top of it too skilled of course and he was going crazy I know his team lost but like I said it is a team game you know like but he was unbelievable in those series and I'm just saying it really stands out to me it's like he's unbelievably strong unbelievably skilled and his IQ is also off the charts like this dude is going to be ridiculous if Dallas or whoever he ends up playing for in the future 
puts the right pieces around him we're looking at a guy that is going to be the best or definitely a top two three player in the nba for years and years to come i can't wait to see like where he goes because not only do i enjoy watching him but like i said he's one of those players that i watch and i'm just like that was ridiculous like what did i just witness man but his ability to just create space and his shot making ability and like i said his iq his playmaking it's all ridiculous all around game is just something to witness and i mean you see right here in the gameplay like the defenders getting physical with me i just go to the little step back create the space knock it down give us the 19 to 0 lead just to you know it, it's just I, I love this build the gameplay doesn't really fit luca's like play style in real life but we tried our best to like replicate it with the creative shots like the spin shots and the step backs and all that and then also you know bullying the smaller players in the paint and, and yada yada y'all get the idea man hopefully 2k22 i can make a more legit luka Doncic build and actually play more like luka but for 2k21 current gen this is about as good as we are gonna get man so hopefully y'all enjoyed the video drop a like subscribe if you guys are new i'll catch you on the next video i'm out peace